Corners are very strong. This can end really badly. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, shoot. You gotta sometimes match the iguana's move. CJ's got him. He's got him. Now he's gotta hold him. Oh no. Yep, yeah, we got it. We got it. You give a man an iguana, he'll eat for a day. You teach a man how to hunt iguanas, shoot. He can feed his family forever. Mm. So everybody grab an iguana empanada. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, sir. You want to remove them? We want to give a special thanks to FX Air Guns. The M3 power right here. These key air rifles, guys, able to use and eliminate some of these packs. So basically, we're going to film a bit of us uh, trying to catch these iguanas during breeding season with the, with the wind picking up. You know how we're getting into the fall and stuff? Right now is the perfect scenario right there because right back there, you can see it. A couple females, and then we got one one big male over there. Huh. Shoot, I don't know, I don't know. You, is this something that you want? You want to tackle this one? You want to try it? You want to give it a shot? The iguanas are just coming out. It, it's windy, it's a little cooler, but it's still very moist in here. I mean, it's got a lot of moisture in the air. Oh, and he's got him. He's got him. show you guys something real quick with this iguana once CJ gets him under control. CJ, you got him, bud? How's it? All right, CJ's, yeah. CJ's handling him right now, but we're going to show you guys something real quick with this iguana once CJ gets it under control. You can see it's death rolling. It's insane. Come on. This is a, this is a thing that only Floridians and Puerto Rican people are dealing with. Mostly Floridians, though, because in Puerto Rico, they don't catch them alive. They just... Yo, he didn't even flinch, bro. He didn't even flinch. Look at this. Young? You think he's old? Nah, he's a young pup. Just a youngin. Yeah. Just coming up in the game. Did you see any other male iguanas, or was that was he the only one? It was just that one. The other one's a female. The other one is a female. Female, female. Hey, you guys probably don't remember, but me and CJ have done removal in this area before. That tree back there. Um, if you remember, all the OG viewers, it was full of iguanas, there was not a lot of leaves, and we, we didn't really know what was going to happen to it, if it was going to die or not. But as you guys can see, it bounced back pretty, pretty good. Still got some dead stuff on the bottom, but you can see up there is growing nice. And it's, you know, the big ones, they're starting to get big again because of the breeding season. You can see CJ's oh. one right here. Right, CJ? Yep. It's about that time. To start mingling again. Do you think they get bigger during breeding season? Maybe some of them. Probably like bulkier to put on some pounds to like, I guess, defend off the other males. Be more of a contender, right? Yeah. But yo, great job. Uh, we are gonna come out here with air rifles at some point. But right now, you know, we're gonna catch some alive. Oh yeah. Any of your friends had iguanas as pets growing up? No, my uncle did. He had a big one in New York. Super chill. The people catch them like this, if and this guy could be like, if they were able to be pets, this guy could be tamed into a pet in like, what, a couple months or something, right? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of work, determination, definitely do it, most definitely. That's why they were so popular in the pet trade. You know, that, that kind of went over everybody's head and now they're basically wild out here, right? Wild American dragon. You, you grew uh, up here your whole life. I'd say probably a, a little bit over a hundred, if not adults? that. Adults? Yeah. hundred adults? Yeah, if not that, then a little bit, maybe, maybe 150, 100, somewhere in that area, I think. There might be some more right here on the bank. Let's go see if we can find them. But if not, if we see any out, we'll just photo we'll photograph them, you know? Right, right. See what we can find. Let's go. All right, guys, he's going in. Got him. The best way to find out is to try to catch it, you know? Oh, yeah. I think we got it. Oh. Ooh. It's a strong, strong. Man, we don't want no trouble. We don't want no trouble, Skeeter. Come on back here.
Here we go, we got him. Don't want no trouble, man. Ooh. This guy was giving me a run for my money. He just closed his mouth, but he was grilling me hard body. I don't know if this is a male or a female, but looking at his teeth and looking at how he was running around, I said he might be a male. Let's take a look. CJ knows as good as anybody how to tell if it's a male. CJ, can you enlighten me? You can tell by the protruding of the femoral pores. Those pores right there. That CJ saying that's a clear indication. I can already see this one spikes are already starting to turn orange too. That's pretty awesome. You see it right there, right? Yeah. yeah. So what I think is maybe in the in the breeding season, the males are getting bulkier and and some of the green ones are getting bigger and even turning orange like this one. Mm -hmm. That's really what, what we're starting to see right now. Little green iguanas like that just evolving into that orange coloration. And then the real big ones and the real orange ones, those are the alphas. Those are the ones that we have our eyes open for now. But this is cool. I do see some in the tree here. Um, we're going to have to talk to those residents, let them know. Uh, we're going to be doing some removal. You can see them right. See them right up there. You call it right there. Yeah. See those iguanas up there? Yeah, right there. We're gonna let the we're gonna let the residents know. We might put a John boat, go underneath that tree, shoot them from underneath, have them fall in the boat. That might be a great and a safe way to remove those iguanas. We're gonna go out there, CJ. We're gonna check it out. Oh uh, yeah. There's like three, four lakes, mm -hmm. and there's just supposedly big iguanas just prowling the property, All right. trespassing, as you'd say. Let's bag these guys. We'll see you guys at the next job. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It's your friend Raj, the iguana man, with that boy, the iguana ninja. Yo, what it is? What it isn't? back at you guys with another video you guys remember i was talking about them iguanas eating that landscape right eating it eating it eating it they've eaten it to the point cj where it's become a big problem especially here in this gated community right right if you don't believe me hey you can just check it out right behind me you can see all that right there that destruction these bushes have been ran through by invasive iguanas and they're eating a lot of the flowers we're in the city in the town of coconut creek i don't know if you guys know where that's at here in florida oh, locally they call it the butterfly capital of the world that's what they call it out here why beautiful ponds beautiful landscape and beautiful flowers attract beautiful butterflies here's the problem with these iguanas eating this landscape those flowers could be in the crossfire, and so are those butterflies. Because without flowers, the butterflies can't come out here, pollinate, do their thing. Sure, it's not going to want to attract these butterflies. Put them in the bag. Yeah, buddy. We're going to put those guys in the bag. And stay tuned, guys, because if we get enough iguanas, we're going to give them to my uncle's neighbor, and he's going to make a very tasty treat for us. So if you want to see that, make sure you watch till the end. All right, guys, let the hunt begin. This is the first step of tracking a big iguana. See it right here. We got a little bit of pew, a little bit of mess that he left on the sidewalk. So we're going to keep going that way. We are with the iguana ninja. Man, don't know if, how many are out here or what they're doing, but we're going to see if we can catch them. Ooh, we got, we got some nice ones right up ahead. Nice female, adult. Both of them just ran into the water. That's nuts. The little one is still there. Oh, now he's gone, look at him. Oh my gosh, there's a giant one by the water's edge, in the water, come here. Look at that. What? That is crazy, I wonder what he's doing. I'm gonna sneak up right here by this electric box, maybe I can get him. Dang, took off. Seen that though, right? Very, just hanging out in the swamp. Thinks he's a little gator. Let's see what's over here.
and these bushes. All right, guys, we got CJ. He's gonna see if he can help me scare this iguana lightly out the bush. I'm gonna see if I can snag him. Just nice and easy, CJ. You see him, right? Yeah. All right, scare him, CJ. I got it on him, scare it, scare it. Yep, we got it. We got it. We got it. This is a, this is a very powerful one too. Very powerful lizard. Almost four feet it looks like. Hold on, he's gonna try to take us for a run. He wants to keep going in the lake. We're gonna have to stop him. Come on. There he goes. There it is. Great size. Great, great size right here. Maybe just turned into adult. He still looks adolescent kind of. Not as pronounced, like on the top, like how those big adult males would be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Big crest. He's still young, but uh, I, th I think he's a young one. Uh, uh, CJ, CJ, what do you think about this guy? You can see he's missing a couple digits on his toe. Giant one. Right across there. Right on the sidewalk. That's what I'm talking about. Those guys will be hiding in bushes just like this. Or high up in the trees. And then when nobody's looking, they'll come down here and they'll forage on the landscape. Bunch of violations that these trespassers are doing out here. Speaking of iguanas eating and pooping. I think we see one right here in the grass. Guana's on. We got it. We got it. Oh shoot. Uh, now he's taking me for a run now. Oh, shoot. Yo, he's going up. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. We have to stop this one. He wants to go right back up there. Oh shoot. Whoa, whoa, shoot. Whoa. Whoa, shoot. No. Just jump. Oh shoot. Oh my god. Silly iguana just shake it off. Wait, he's gone. Well that iguana got away this time. If you look right there on the island, you'll see a mature iguana just basking in the sun. It's like he's on his very own private beach. Not a care in the world. You see where that guy's swimming to, right? We got dibs on him. We know where he's going. He's going for that tree right there. Man, those things are tough, dude. Velociraptor right there at 10 o'clock. Two of them. You see how the landscape all back there is jacked up, right? Yeah, man. That's, that's the stuff we're preventing right now. They're gonna have to redo all that. CJ behind the fence. What a swing and a hit. He's got him. And hopefully that will encourage more butterflies to come back in this area. This is what this town is known for. Not a single flower we've seen. Not a single flower, guys. These iguanas from big to small will eat flowers. Those baby iguanas, you know those little baby flowers that you have growing in your bush? What do you think those baby iguanas are eating all the time? What it is, Iguana Ninja, what it is, what it isn't. What it is, say beta probably, maybe. Probably beta, not, that's what I was kind of thinking too. Now, if you've seen a specimen like right over our shoulder right there, what would you say that one is right there? It's definitely an alpha. He's orange, he's big. That's all, that, that, that's all there is to it. He's big and orange, that's how you know they're alpha. It's just a massive orange iguana, guys. You're seeing it right there. Stay tuned, Let's see if we can go catch that orange iguana. These reptiles can thrive. It's quite unfortunate that, you know, they were released like somebody's pet, like a long time ago, like his grandfather or something. They just all of a sudden turned into a wild feral iguana. Let's see what CJ's got going on. CJ's going right up to him. No swing. Ooh, wanna... The iguana seems surprised that CJ is getting within his space. It's a game of finesse, it's like chess. It's a 
gain the trust, man. It's a game of chess. You gotta sometimes match the iguana's moves. CJ's got him. He's got him. Now he's gotta hold him. Oh no, no. And they're so strong, guys. Like, I, I, like you gotta come out here and catch one for yourself and see how strong they are. It's like wrestling like a main, mini alligator or something. You really gotta come out here and come out here and experience it for yourself, man. These iguanas, they fight like little alligators and they taste, uh, I'm not gonna say just as good, but they taste better than gator meat from what I've heard. That thing is big. You can really see it right there. That one is much brighter and much bigger. Definitely an elephant. In the fight, just trying to be dominant and not go in the water and just show his alphaness. Compared to that one that ran first thing he saw, right? Yeah. First time he saw you, he ran. This guy. He's still looking right at you. Incredible. We're still rolling, guys. We have a female right here. I'm going to see if I can grab it. Nice. That's so cool. Right here, my friends. This is what all the commotion is about and all the, all the, all the disputes over property is about here. Is the females? Woo! The female. That is a dinosaur right there. I'd never recommend you go out there and try to catch a wild iguana. You do not know what you're doing. If you're not used to it, it can end really badly for you in a short amount of time. Oh man. Oh, that alpha was smart. You got to think, guys. Animals that big got pretty big brains, especially iguanas. Especially if he's an alpha creature. He's got a lot of hormones probably in him. The females, I don't think they have the same hormones as males. It's right here. Oh, this is how I lost the other one. One right there, even got red protruding through her as well. You can see some spotting right there on her foot and then also on her backside. Iguana, this uh, fat right here, that thick, she could already be fertilized at this point. Really wide, especially around that midsection. So it's pretty wild, man. Breeders out here, but we got to get them while they're big and small and before they're laid into the ground in the bag. Man, I'm telling you guys, some of these iguanas, they're so sneaky hiding in those bushes. It's like, they're there for a minute and then they just, they're gone. But we do have one that just kind of just poked out real quick. We're gonna go see if we can make sure and put the car in park. Don't, don't ever recommend you trying this, guys. All right, guanas are very strong. This can end really badly. Yeah. Oh, there you go, oh, shoot. There we go. Keep that tension on him. Let's see what he does. It's a game of tug of war right here. Kind of reverse. All right, we're at a standstill. I need to come out and I need to step in. Oh, no. No. We will negotiate your surrender. Please come down. I told him we'd negotiate his surrender. He didn't want to listen. Let's get this little bugger. Let's get, oh shoot, ah, 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 ah. This is nuts. We got so many cars everywhere, but we gotta do our job. Thanks, man. Guys, so that was an epic removal. You guys seen that? We gave some of those iguanas to my uncle's neighbor. Check that out. Made some empanadas for us. Go ahead and pop one open, see what it's looking like. Oh, you can see that right there. He put some vegetables in there. But that right there, guys, is shredded iguana tail meat 
mixed with adobo, onions, and other vegetables. Manny, Manny, you gotta grab one too, man. Come on, man. I'm all in, Come I'm on, all man. in. Everybody grab an iguana empanada. You ready, guys? It's fresh, it's homemade. And he gave me the recipe. It's really, it's really easy to, to do. Oh, man. Dang. Not Ooh, as hard as you think, man. How's that iguana? It's fire. It's very flavorful. You use the best piece, the tail, you know? Yeah. Get those tails, clean them up, stew them down, shred it, take the meat off the tail. Mix it with the filling concoction, the rest of the ingredients. Put it in an empanada shell, and then boom, deep fry it. Deep fry it. Mm. Really good, like, man. Let me try some of that, man. See that right there? That's part of the, the tenderloin. The oh. whole loin that he didn't quite shred all the way. But if you shred it or not, it's it's still pretty tender, right? Yeah. The thing is, guys, you guys got to understand, man. Protein source, just in general, is a very good thing to have. Other parts of the world, people are eating, you know, stuff like that. Here in Florida, they're eating the frog, the gators. Now, like I said, we got so many more contacts, so many more friends, so many more people. Not a bad thing at all, man. You give a man an iguana, he'll eat for a day. You teach a man how to hunt iguanas, shoot, he He's can feed eat. his family forever. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something. Let me know your favorite part in the comments down below. It's your friend Roger the Iguana Man with the Iguana Hunting Crew. See you on next video.